How's it going guys? So my car is right over there and I'm right over here. We're gonna test Tesla auto summon feature. So we go to the summon right here and it's gonna go ahead and try to connect. And we're gonna go ahead and basically see this little target. We're gonna match that to where I am at, right where the blue is, right there and once you match it you go ahead and click go to target I'm gonna go ahead and hold it and watch what happens there goes my car I'm just holding it and as soon as I release it it's gonna stop but it's gonna basically come towards me let's see how accurate this auto summon feature is Okay, Tesla. And you do have to keep on holding it until the car comes to you. And it's important to know that I am doing this at a private parking lot. And the car stopped right there. And when it blinks, that means that it stopped. And I let go. And now from here, I'm not done yet. I could go ahead and still use the summon feature. They call it the dumb summon. Because if I go ahead and click forward, the car will keep on continue going forward, as you can see. All the way. It's going very slowly. We are at a private parking lot. Yeah. Car is going and moving very slowly. And this is the end part right here. Oh yeah. And then I let go, and the car lets go, and I hit reverse, and the car is going on reverse. Just like that. I'm gonna let go, and it stops right away, and if I move forward, press and hold, and it goes forward. Okay, there you go. So it stops very instantly. To do this at a private lot, you cannot do this if you are at an open road. It's kind of crazy to show like how far the technology has come. And here I am testing it at an empty parking lot. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. This is Adrian, and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.